welcome back to my youtube channel let's crack it so today we are going to see uh, infosys interview experience uh, of a candidate whose interview date was on 1st april and secondly the duration of interview was around 20 minutes and he belongs to the btech ec branch so the role of this interview was uh, for the software engineer or operations executive so without any delay let's start our today's video so first of all a very big congratulations to each and everyone who got selected for the infos interview round so i am very happy to share that uh, even some of our subscribers got selected for this interview so now secondly interview schedule will be received by this week so you guys should be very uh, get ready with the preparation so definitely you gonna receive the schedule and all the best guys so let's start uh, our today's video before that we have made several videos on infosys so please refer to that so we have made videos for the exam purpose like aptitude puzzle video uh, pseudo code questions puzzle questions so all these questions all these videos have helped the viewers a lot and similarly now for the infosys interview we are going to make uh, a series of videos so please try to refer them and i'll be putting the links in the description box so we have made a 50 most asked infosys interview questions a one video which will be more i mean very useful for you guys refer to that and I'm even uh, keeping the uh, Telegram group discussion link in the description box. Go join the Telegram group for the updates. Like in any interview, the very first question was to introduce, introduce about yourself. So guys, uh, the best suggestion or advice I can ever give about introduction part is maintain a template. You just fix a template, set up a template and follow the same template in any interview you uh, attempt. So what is what will be the use of this uh, is so if you set it to fix it template and follow it definitely you will uh, deliver your introduction very perfectly in a smooth manner you can deliver it without any issues. So let me list out the things which you can include in the template. So just uh, to give an idea I have mentioned these <coughs> set of things so you can include any of these like uh, you can set up your own template. And just keep in mind that you must restrict yourself like uh, the introduction part just two to three minutes uh, approximately you uh, you should not cross this limit two to three minutes is enough telling about yourself. So here comes the second one. I have already told you guys that there is a high chance of asking general questions in the inter Infosys interviews. So mostly these kind of general questions are asked to test your communication skills like communication abilities and also the awareness you are having on the general topic. So if we observe here, the candidate had mentioned in the introduction part that he plays games. So immediately the he asked about what do you play like what games do you play. So for example, let us suppose that if you play cricket or football or whatever if you answer this way, there is even other chance that he, uh, the interviewer may cross question like like uh, how far do you have the cricket knowledge like how far do you have football knowledge who did uh, won the football world cup recently or cricket world cup some some kind of certain kind of questions and also immediately after telling uh, the second answer he was asked about the what do you think the significance or the importance of games in one's day-to-day -day life so this is a general question right so you can answer it in many ways like uh, physical games i mean physical health so in order to improve physical health games plays a crucial role in our lives and also stress management so we uh, we play games for entertainment purpose so even through games we can we will be able to socialize with people socialize so uh, there are a lot of points you can mention you should be go on speaking like uh, whatever the point comes to your mind you, you should deliver it that's it then it is followed by a technical question here so let's see difference between the equals to and double equals to operator so equals to operator is an assignment operator so whereas double equals to is a relational operator what will be the difference basic difference will be so let us consider a variable there is a variable called a it is an integer variable now if we want to assign a fix, uh, fixed value to the integer a then we use the assignment operator like a equals to 5 this is a syntax whereas relational operator is very similar to greater than operator or less than operator like for example b greater than 5 b less than 5 so what does it mean by if really v is greater than 5 then it returns a true uh, if it is not uh, true then returns false similarly i can use a double equals to 5 if of a double equals to 5 so this means that uh, the value of a is uh, compared with the value of 5 so uh, a is compared with 5 if uh, the value matches then 
simply it returns a true the if statement will be executed that's it the basic difference so it is followed by a question what is a ternary operator give uh, with an example of it so basically let me uh, consider that a equals 5 and b equals 10 so i want to assign a value to the max so out of a and b which will be the maximum value so in order to know it basically i use a if, uh, if condition if a greater than b i assign value of a to maximum else uh, if that is failed so i directly assign the value b to the max so if you observe there are four lines of code right so these are the four lines of code instead of writing this code i can simply make it to restrict it to the single line of code using ternary operator that will be the that is the power of ternary operator like directly assigning value to the max max equals to so ternary operator syntax a greater than b question mark a is to b so the meaning of this will be so if this is the condition so here we use the condition here we use expression one expression two so if this condition is true so expression one will be executed so if it is fail so if condition fails this expression two will be executed simply max equals to if a greater than b a will be max equals to a this will be assigned directly so if this is false so max equals to b simple right like here comes the next question so this guy was not asked to code anything but instead he was asked like how can we print a hello like uh, some text without using any semicolon in c language so basically if you observe in c language we will be having the syntax like th in this way so if you want to print anything like we use a print statement and we just use a semicolon right so the question was without even without using this semicolon can we uh, print a statement like print a message so is it possible yes of course it is possible so simply we can use a main method inside main method i can directly use if condition within the if condition i can directly use a print statement and close the if statement so def uh, definitely this will work out so without any issue simply the console will print some the text whatever the text you are inserting here so console will print hello and uh, you don't need to uh, write any code with uh, inside the if block also it will definitely work fine and the other way will be like you can use any loop or looping statement like uh, within the main statement main block like uh, i can use while so within while i can print something like uh, i can close this while block so if you left the while block empty so this will go for an infinite loop because so always the print like uh, printing something will return a true so always this will return true so the while loop uh, there is no end for the while loop so simply you can insert a break within the loop so then it will print only one time hello the console will print single uh, one time if you don't insert this break so it will go on printing and uh, it will go into a infinite loop that's it for this question guys and then comes the question what is sdlc so basic question it's a commonly asked question software development life cycle it stands for so practically if you look into uh, this question like uh, whatever the project if you want to do any project right from the starting phase to the ending ending phase we follow a organized way of step by step process so that is called the uh, development life cycle now if you observe basically so considering the requirements so requirement analysis will be the very first step so once it is done we go for the design part like we will design, uh, try to design a plan and after that we implement the our design so after implementation we we can check our system right like uh, whether it is giving accurate producing accurate results or not uh, this phase is called the testing part so once we are done with the testing it is called the deployment deployment is nothing but keeping in use it actually means that keeping the project in use is called deployment and final step will be the maintenance maintenance part is nothing but just uh, letting the project to live for long years like uh, we are we have to maintain the project that's it for this question and then he was asked some basic uh, sql query question like how do we fetch data from sql only first 10 entries so guys basically if you want to fetch any data we use select statement right so select uh, whatever the column you want to print for example let me consider that i want to uh, fetch the data about salary this column salary column select salary from the table name let me uh, consider employee so this will work fine 
like uh, this will let me print all the detail like all the salaries of the employees so what uh, what should i do if i want to restrict to only first 10 entries so there is a little i mean small keyword we need to use like limit so limit 10 whatever the value we want like uh, for example if i use limit 10, 5 so first five entries will be printed a limit 10 first 10 entries will be printed sorry printed not printed fetched we use uh, it is correct way of using so here comes the uh, next questions like uh, these are some general questions so he was asked why aren't you trying for a job in ece field so as this candidate is from ece branch so he was asked like uh, why don't you go for a ece job so the only one suggestion i can give you is never let your never expose your weakness while answering this question so you can answer it any way whatever the way you want but don't uh, let your weakness out in front of the interviewer like uh, i did not get a job uh, in ece field so i am trying for a software job i uh, like uh, there are not much opportunities in ece field don't don't give these kind of answers instead you can also uh, you can tell like uh, i enjoy programming i enjoy coding so i want to pursue a career in software field some uh, such kind of uh, some sugar coated answers you can give but uh, don't uh, expose this weakness and next ready to relocate definitely you you are supposed to say yes so mostly you will say yes and finally he was asked like any questions so like i can tell you one thing that even though if you don't ask i mean if you don't ask any questions it's completely acceptable but instead of asking like uh, giving an attempt of asking questions never mess it up like uh, some people will ask uh, questions about like like uh, when will we get our results so am i selected or not so these questions are not supposed to be asked like directly we can't ask the interviewer so instead you can ask questions like so what will be the domain like i'll be put for our domain or technology or work what will be uh, the work culture in infosys so such kind of questions you can ask like what are the latest projects in your in infosys has taken up so such kind of questions uh, you can ask but my suggestion is that uh, genuinely if you don't have any question just uh, just thank the interviewer thank you i don't have any questions that's a polite way so all the best guys if you are not uh, still preparing for the interviewer so i wish you a good luck and if you are not a subscriber subscribe to our channel and also the refer to our playlist like uh, we have made several videos on infosys preparation also i'll be putting the uh, links in the description